So my dudes Valk here. Now I would love to be giving you guys gameplay while I go overhead and talk about what I want to talk about today, but I've been getting server status exception and I can't actually log in on my PC, although I can log in on my phone just fine. I'm not getting hacked or anything, it's nothing like that. Just an error. I've uninstalled, I've did everything I could, but I'm just getting this error. Eventually it'll fix, I imagine. If not, I'll take it up with the community rep. But I want to talk about today basically Tower Fantasy and the state of the game and everything. And I've seen a lot of people say, Valg, why don't you upload gameplay or why don't you update your account? I'm going to be real in the same reason that this graph is a good indicator of player interest is that there's just not much to do right now. Uh, until 2.0, until Vera, there's really not a lot going on with Tower Fantasy to the point where really there's just, there's just not any viewers. Nobody's watching Tower Fantasy, 1.4k viewers. Nobody's playing Tower Fantasy right now. Uh, Tower Fantasy, by all means, is dead. I, I fully believe that right now, but in the end, I like the game, I like the product, so I'm going to keep covering it, but I do think the game's going to come through a revival come Vera in 2.0. Now, why do I think it's going to have a big revival? Why am I putting so much stock into Vera? It's very simple. It's because Vera is also Steam release. I have a lot of friends, I don't know about you guys, I have a lot of friends who don't want another client, instead are waiting for Steam release. And basically, I think that's going to give the game another breath of life. Now, will it stick? That's up to really Hota themselves. Um, Hota and basically everybody working on Tower Fantasy, whether or not the game sticks with the hardcore MMO players uh, that are going to be coming from Steam is up to them and how they present Vera, how fast they move the game, because 1.0 moved incredibly quick. Game isn't even 90 days old. Look, past 90 days, game's not even 90 days old. And it's already all the way down to Vera, which is 2.0. That is insane speeds. But I did want to talk about this today because I know a lot of you guys are feeling like, why am I still playing this game? Why? But, but I'm taking a break from the game. I am until 2.0. I said this a week ago now. I'm just logging in, doing my dailies, sometimes not even that. Just logging in, collecting all my stuff, logging in daily, making sure I can all right, turn all my vitality into Omnium Beacons, and then I'm logging off. Because whenever Vera comes, I plan on playing the game hot and heavy. Um, I'm really excited for Vera. It's going to be really, really fun. But I've been taking it nice and easy from the game, and I suggest you guys do the same because we have about, what, now like nine days left until Vera, and then it's go time. That's when the game's going to have a lot to do. Vera is basically going to be the fix for the game. The game's already got a ton of stuff to do. Don't, don't get me wrong. It really is, but in the end, all the stuff you do right now kind of boils down to how far can you get in Bygone Phantasm. That's basically it, or I guess PvP if you really care about that. But yeah, that's basically the video. I just wanted to talk about Tower of Fantasy, the current state of the game, because I've seen a lot of people bring it up, and I wanted to kind of address it, and yeah, the game is not doing the best right now. It's up to Hota to do better, but I fully believe they will with 2.0 and Vera. I do believe Fair is going to deliver. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.